Hey guys, it's me here, Bodie from Twigger TV. And I'm Jacob. And uh, this is not really actually kind of an, uh, it's not really an episode of Twigger TV, it's just we're kind of a... We're doing kind of a creative uh, video. We're doing a game collection for our PS3, because it's most, the most games we have for a collection. The most overdone or, type of video ever on YouTube we're going we're gonna to do now. So, uh, we're going to okay. start with a game collection. We have, I don't know, I haven't counted, there are no... You know, particular around one. like I think, I think we just took them off our shelves, right? I'm now, assuming so. it's like forty to thirty five games or so. Maybe we can count through. Here's Maybe. one. All right, one. Madden 08. Uh, it's a football game. It's not gonna be like game of the year or anything, but <laughs> you know, it's it's Madden. And no good. real opinion. It's, it's far I mean, it's good, but it's a football. Did game. Did you just get it because it was like a bucket game? Yeah, stuff. it was like two. It was two dollars. Oh. Two dollars. You can't pass that up. It's just unbearable. Fallout 3. This. Is not like Madden. This is a game that deserves praise. Uh, it's a really, really fun open world game. You know, I've spent like I don't know, 50 hours. And the best part, of, the best part is that this game is now very cheap, and you can get it for very cheap price. So if you and have not played Fallout, you should check up this game. Check this game out. It's and fun. It's, it's better it's than Fallout New Vegas as well, actually, in my opinion. The sequel to Fallout Three. Right. I guess you can say it's cheaper than Fallout New Vegas. It's better. So. If you don't have it already, you know, pick it up. Unless you have no money. Better and cheap, cheaper. Just, just give me the game. Like Better and cheaper equals fun. Or funner, yeah. whatever you want to say. Grant the photo for it. Grant the photo, you know. You Pretty much everyone knows about beat it. Beat people up and then shoot them and then hijack cars and then it's awesome. shoot cops and stuff. It's like, you know. The this story's not too interesting in my it's, opinion. It's a good game, you know. It's. It's but it gets kind of repetitive after a while. You sh you know shoot innocent people. Grand Theft Auto Five will probably be a little repetitive after a while. Call well. of Duty World at War, also known as Call of Duty Five, since it's a the predecessor to Call of Duty Four. Uh, it was a good game, but you know it didn't it didn't get as much as praise as it deserves because it just didn't live up to Call of Duty Four. And most people probably abandoned it now because like zombies was popular. Zombies there. zombies is what gave this game its its like. People stayed on here after it was dead because of the zombies. But now, map pack for Black Ops, it brought all the zombie games from World at War to Black Ops, and Black Ops is newer, so this game is kind of dead now. Yeah, but it was good for the time, so I would say don't pick it up now because obviously it's dead. This was maybe like, I don't remember, 2009, 2010. But it was, it was good for when it was, uh, you know, like the Call of Duty that's out, like Black Ops 2 is out now. And you play multiplayer and their hackers <laughs> invaded it. Right, and you, you will not find anyone. Like, there's only like a thousand people in like Team Deathmatch, Black Ops it's, 2, there's like a hundred thousand. It's a shame. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This game is pretty good. Not as good as number two, though. I personally like number two better, but... I think number two is the best. Yeah, this one, this one was still really good. Uh, the story was really good. It continued um, directly off number two. Like, literally, just like, the moment... When, like, the number two ends, this one ends, and the, the case will shut for some reason. Is it broken? I don't know. It better not be broken. Alright, it's not broken. Probably. Well, I'll fix it for your hand again. Yes. Yeah. God of War 3. Um, it gets repetitive, in yeah. my opinion. All you really do is just slash monsters and slash enemies. It's good. I can see why people, like, loved it, but... I don't know. It's just not, you know, my type of game, I guess. All you do is really just kill people with your swords and blood just comes out. To be honest, it gets really repetitive. It's I don't really it's like good, it. though, but, you know, it's pretty repetitive and just... It's good. I can see how people like it. And the graphics are good and all that, but... The section's probably the same. I don't know. Well, yeah. I never played it. Flashpoint Red River. I haven't played it. Never, neither have I. Only pick up I, I like played. I shot one guy. I said this is horrible. I got off. It's only I like played it again. It's only like nine bucks at Best Buy. Or something. It was like ten dollars. Like, like the used dollar bin <laughs> for the used bin. Uncharted three. Uh, if you watched our news episode number two, if you watched the whole thing and pay attention to the whole thing, fifteen minutes, um, uh, you would have heard I said this was a really good game. Uh, Not as good as the second one, in my opinion. Yeah, IGN gave it a ten out of ten. It was really, really good. And I don't know if it's 10 out of 10, but it's like, it's definitely more than a 9. It's a, uh, you know, great story. Continues off the second one, obviously. I mean, what else would they do? <laughs> the graphics, everything's kind of the same as number two. It just didn't have the same 
pizzazz. And the problem, in my opinion, is that in multiplayer in Uncharted 2, it had like a more feeling. Like, it, like environment yeah. hazards could kill you. It was like fun mm -hmm. in that way. Uncharted 1, I got this. Well, actually, he got this. 20 bucks at GameStop, uh, Black Friday. How'd he get it? Yeah, um, it's, it's good. Uh, I played this one after I played Uncharted 2, so it's not like... It's like, it would, it, if you played this when it first came out, I guess it would have been like it, a really good game. But. To me, it's okay, but the problem was it didn't have any multiplayer, and single player felt, how yeah. do I, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, like, just boring. Like, just eh, not, meh, I guess. Yeah. I can't, I don't know what word for it. Um, alright. Bioshock, oh, this game, I haven't like played any of it. I've played a little bit. It's really good, but... I don't know, it's just, mm. not, it's like a game you can pick up once and just yeah. not play it again. I, you know, a lot of people are going to love this game, but it's, it was good, but I just kind of weird and it's, it's kind of scary for me, I guess, a little bit. I mean, it's not really supposed to be scary, but it's just kind of like there's dark areas and there's people popping out of everywhere, so. All I did was play the I demo. I mean, maybe that's why I didn't play it, but it's still, it's good, but it's just not. All I did like, was play the demo of that on Xbox. I played the actual And I got stuck on it, and then I just stopped. It was an open world underwater thing. It's pretty good storyline and everything, but... Storyline's fun, but, yeah, again, pick up once and then... I don't want to spoil stop. anything, but... Yeah. The end. That ending. <coughs> Meg. Uh, Online-only game. I got this when it was not in its youth. It was dying. It was old. And, um... People hospital. weren't, yeah, it, people weren't playing anymore. I mainly just got it because I wanted a, a shooter game that I could use my PlayStation Move gun with. Um, you know, like that the giant gun that comes with the PlayStation Move. I wanted to use that, so I bought this. Um, it's really good, but, like, the whole 1,000 people in one match thing doesn't happen anymore, so you don't expect that from this anymore. Because it's not going to happen. Even if it's a thousand people, then that, then that just guarantees you're going to die. Yeah, 35 seconds. Rainbow Six Vegas. I got this thinking it was the second one, and uh, I got to tell you, I do not like this. I this? mean, it's, it's good, but it's just kind of... Okay, here, I want to explain something. If you're going to get this game, get it on the Xbox. The PS3 graphics are terrible. Yeah. Like, I... I don't like to say I couldn't play a game just because of graphics, but that's how I feel about this game. Exactly. I couldn't play this just because of the graphics. It was so, so and he bad. Has a, and he has a 3D TV. Yeah. Uncharted 2. Um, probably should have put this next to Uncharted 3 and 1, but okay. It's a good game. Best Uncharted. Best Uncharted. Uncharted played this for a long, long time. It's it's pretty good. I mean like not ten out of ten material, but it's really good. I spent a lot of time the multiplayer. I spent a lot of time I actually cared about my rank. There's not a lot of games where I actually care about my rank. Like Call of Duty's just the one. Um Battlefield I don't even care about my rank. Um yeah, this is just like the this was like the second game like Besides Call of Duty franchise, that I actually cared about my rank online, and I actually wanted to, you know, be the top rank, but uh, never happened. Um, stopped playing it. The story is really good. Uh, a lot of twists. Um, we'll spoil anything, but yeah. No spoilers here. Red Dead Redemption. Everybody loves this game. It's like, it's Grand Theft Auto of the West, and like, um, I'm not really good with history here, so I don't know, like, I'm guessing 1400s or something. Train era, wagons, shooting gun, cowboys-ish. Horses, know what carriages. Era. You know, it's, um, you hijack, it's of cars, trains, and carriages. Instead of shooting civilians, you shoot cowboys and lawmen. Uh, it's, yeah, it was really good, too, but, uh, again, Sims Grand Theft Auto. It's, uh, not only was it... Like, pretty much the same thing as Grand Theft Auto, but in a Western, like, uh, setting. It's just, uh, it's really repetitive as well. I couldn't really keep playing it for more than 20 Undead minutes. Nightmare was good, though. Undead the Nightmare, yeah, that the was zombie, good. zombie, uh, add-on was yeah. awesome. Black Ops. This was really, really good. Uh, I got pretty far, like, in terms of the rank online. Everybody only really gets it for the online, um, 
That's like the only, and that's what everybody gets called. That ends zombies. That ends zombies. Yeah. Um, I did go for platinum trophies. I'm two trophies away from getting platinum. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's basically this trophy system where you do a bunch of random junk and you get trophies. And there's like 50 of them. If you do them all, you get platinum. Platinum, Same you get them all. And uh, I have 48 of them. The two left are kind of hard, so I just kind of gave up. Uh, one of them I can't even do it anymore because my story is like glitched out. I can't. I passed the whole game on the hardest difficulty, and it didn't give me the trophy that I should have got. So something wrong, like went on there. But online was great. Zombies was good. They uh, featured all the World at War maps in this one, so that was really good. But uh, it, it took them a long time. It took them like three months. Three months before this game, you know, got pretty. Dead, no one played it anymore. Sonic Generations. Um, if you like, if you like the old classic Sonic games on Genesis, you're gonna like this probably. Hopefully, um, it includes modern Sonic and classic Sonic, and it's awesome, especially when they meet each other. Except the problem is, classic Sonic can't talk. I, I, I never, never and I, I can. I, I never really played this game. I played one level. It was good, but. It'll, I really get like it'll get repetitive. I really You're like Sonic. That'll watch. Oh god, we have so many more to go through. Oh man. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Generation. This is not mine. So you can mine. talk about that. Yeah. yeah, just summarizing a couple of terms, I guess. If you like animated fighting, get this game. Watch it, just get Ninja Storm 3. It's better to just get that. Um, like the anime, I can't really talk about too much of it. It's a fighting. Yeah, it's a fighting fight each other. Yeah. Unlike this game. Okay, you, talk, you, well, you can talk about that. Uh, Placing an all-stars battle, right, battle royale. Um, good game. It ain't good um, game. He plays it every single minute of his life. No, like, I go in his room, he's playing this. Um, he's always playing it. He's, like, he's... I'm asking him to play Call of Duty, he's like, no, I look at my friends list, he's playing this game. This game's really good. Because it's PlayStation Smash Brothers. It's basically Smash Brothers uh, for the Nintendo, but uh, Sony's version. It's got, like, uh, all these characters, if you can look at it in the front. Sackboy, the guy from God of War, the guy from Uncharted, the guy from Bioshock. Big Daddy. Big, yeah, Big Daddy. Kratos is God of War. Uh, a bunch of other guys. I don't know the names, but, yeah. That's good. Black Ops 2, um, I feel I don't even need to talk about this, but, okay, um, campaign is one of the best campaigns in Call of Duty, um, I don't know, it's, it's really good, but it's kind of short, I like how, uh, they have, they have the fact that, uh, you can choose your own ending, like, whether you make bad decisions or not, um, or your good decisions it affects your ending. Multiplayer, great multiplayer. I still care about my rank. I'm trying to rank up every day. Zombies, I've gotten more into it now. Die Rise, I have to tell you, probably my favorite uh, zombies map pack of all time. That's just my opinion. But great game. You know, definitely deserves nine out of ten, uh, which I IGN gave it. Yeah, map pack. So wait, that, that, that. that concludes part one of this. Make sure you. Uh, Watch part two, which we uploaded soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.